Color Phenomena in Nature Haven't you witnessed a rainbow in the sky? How is the rainbow formed? Or why is the color of the sky blue? Why are sunsets red? Have you ever wondered about such phenomena? When you look at the sky during the daytime, the light that you see is the sunlight that has been absorbed and then re-radiated in various directions. This process is called scattering of light. A large number of molecules are present in the Earth's atmosphere. These molecules scatter light in various directions. The air is composed of many tiny particles including dust and water vapor. As the sun Lord Rayleigh showed that the amount of scattering of light is inversely proportional to the light passes through the air. The shorter blue light waves are reflected and refracted by the particles, while the other colored light waves being longer are unaffected and are not reflected by the water vapor or dust in the air. Blue, therefore, is scattered the most and this explains the bluish color of the sky. At sunset or sunrise, the sun rays have to cover large atmospheric distances to reach us and most of the blue light gets scattered and doesn't reach us. The sky as well as the sun at sunrise and sunset therefore looks reddish. The Rainbow When you experience the beauty of a rainbow, you are seeing the combined effects of dispersion, refraction and reflection. The deviation that a ray suffers on emerging out of the raindrops depends on the angle of incidence and the wavelength. This is how the different colors are separated out. The sun is always at the back of the person observing the rainbow. Sometimes two rainbows are seen. The inner one is called the primary rainbow and is brighter. The outer one is called the secondary rainbow and its colors are in reverse order. Two rainbows are seen because the light is reflected twice within the drop. Why do clouds appear white? Clouds contain a high concentration of water droplets or ice crystals which also scatter light. The light undergoes scattering many times when passing through the clouds than through a clear sky. Therefore, the light of all colors is eventually scattered out of the cloud. The cloud then looks white.